Hello everyone and welcome and this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Capricorn for the week of February 6th through the 12th of 2023. And I would also like to give special thanks to those of you who have subscribed to my channel as well as giving it a thumbs up and left comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. And the Empress. Nice way to start. Abundance, fertility. You know, you're feeling more ro robust in your life. Things are starting to come into your life a little bit more. Good news is on the horizon. New projects are starting to go the way you want them to go. For some of you, guess this could be an addition to the family. You know, an adoption, a ch new child, niece, nephew, that sort of thing new fur baby for some of you. So that's a very nice card to start out with. You're moving forward on an absolutely really good note. You're starting to realize that all the endeavors that you're entering into now are moving in the right direction. And the chariot, so definitely moving on. You know, you're, you've been longing to do this for a, a quite some time. And now you're realizing that you're on the right path. You're just going to let people, places, and things that no longer serve you, like dead-end situations, just fall away by the wayside because you already have a vision of what you want to go and you want to be healed in moving forward. And that, yep, most definitely healing. There was some sort of betrayal, maybe in a relationship for some of you. Maybe somebody was, you know running around behind your back and now you finally heard about it, that sort of thing, or vice versa, you know, but it, it hurt, definitely hurt, you know, it's not nice to, you know, think that everything in your life is 100% in a relationship going forward and to find out that, you know, they cut you to the quick, so now you're trying to take the swords out because you don't want to keep feeling like this for the rest of your life you're realizing that you know you're going to have that talk with somebody and you're going to clear the air and then you're going to move on for yourself because you want to love again you want things in your life to be happy and harmonious and you don't want to be hanging on to excess baggage anymore and the four of rods so there it is you're definitely standing on good solid foundation you know where you want to go you can see like a you know a light at the end of the tunnel or a rainbow and things are starting to grow and go the way you want them to and you're okay with that because you can actually see it you know you can see where your future is heading you can see what you want to come into it and you're heading in it you know you've already made that decision for yourself so now you're just making it happen and the Seven of Cups, so most definitely a lot of really good endeavors, ideas in your mind. Some projects that you want to get finished. You know, you have a, a vision of what you want and how to go about getting it. And now you're just organizing this week on each step you have to take in order to accomplish it. And you're doing that because you know that's how you're going to go about having your own peace of mind going forward and the queen of cups so most definitely you know you're making something real in your life you're making something grow the way you want it to you it's passionate to you you're driven to get this done you know and you're following your intuition more than you have in quite some time you know you're developing more um better relations within your own family as well going forward and eight of rods so there comes some good news for you coming in something out of the right out of the blue something totally unexpected it's going to just sort of plunk down so we're going to have a get together some friends are going to pop by some people you haven't heard from for a while maybe they're going to invite you out for a few drinks maybe some dinner that sort of thing and you're going to have quite a good time you know, it's, it's just going to happen totally unexpectedly. Like, you don't see this one coming for you, but it's a good one. 
and the strength card. So there you go. You know, you're, you're curbing your impulses to just, you know, shut the door on everybody and, and you know, turn into almost a hermit. But that's not what you're going to do here. You're, you're learning to curb that impulsive nature of yourself. You know, you're getting a pay raise. If this is a job for some of you, maybe you've asked the joke, maybe you've been hinting at the boss for a while to get a better position and, you know, they've been sort of, yeah, 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 and but not really giving you that answer. Well, here it comes, you know, that pay raise that you've always wanted, maybe a position in, in your job moving up the ladder, which is wonderful. So good for you. And the king of wands. Very nice. You're motivated to make these changes because you have something in mind that you want to have in the future. And you like things to be comfortable in your life. You like to, you very positive thinker when you decide to make up your choices in your mind. You know, there's no swaying you off your path. You may have a few hiccups in it, but it's nothing that's lasting. So you're already feeling that, you know, you've come in touch with what you want to see in the future and what you will make happen and the devil card so most definitely you know you've heeded that calling with what's you know speaking to you what's been holding you back and you're realizing that you know i'm okay with cutting the ties with a few things in my life and you're putting up more boundaries. You're you're literally listening to yourself. You know, you're taking your own advice. You're very good at giving advice, but like the rest of us and the rest of the world, it's hard to take our own advice. But I think this is the week that you're talking to yourself more or less and, and making that transformation of what you need to do. And the nine of pentacles, and you've been on your own for a while. You're quite comfortable you can you know accomplish a lot you can you know provide for yourself you're not dependent on anybody for anything you know you're comfortable you get lonely once in a while but it's not that you're totally alone because you can pick up the phone and talk to anybody you want anytime and you know there'll always be an answer and the five of swords so definitely you know Having to stand up, say your piece, put people, places, and, you know, in things the way you want them to go because you know that you had to. It's not always pleasant to have the Five of Swords come into your life, but it also makes you realize what you're capable of doing. You know, you've, you know, won at something. It hasn't been easy, but you've learned to, you know, somehow wrestle it into submission. You've, the people are just sort of walking away there and you're okay with that this week. And the three of rods, so there you are. You put your little hands on the rods. You're on good, sturdy foundation. Things are starting to go and grow the way you want them to. And you can see something in the future. You know, you put out maybe made some good investments here or thinking of making them. And uh, this is the week you decide that I'm going to take that money and I'm going to invest it in that and see what it brings me in the future. And that's the steps you're taking this week for yourself. And the Nine of Swords. All right. So, yeah, maybe you made a boo-boo and, you know, you're lip runneth over and said something that you probably shouldn't have said and now having a little bit of regret maybe you said something a little bit harsher to somebody than you intended so you're losing a little bit of sleep over it this week so you know in the morning as best you can you know you're gonna get up and deal with it because having restless nights over what you should have and could have did is no way to spend your week and the Page of Cups, so surprise. You know, new romance coming in unexpectedly for some of you. Now this could be, a doesn't have to be a physical romance. This could be a romance in yourself that you're feeling more 
ambitious about things. You're starting to have a love for life again, that sort of thing. That spark back. And the Seven of Swords. So keep it to yourself. Not letting anybody really know what's going on in your life. You know, protecting your good name. You're realizing that the more people that know a little bit too much about you sometimes have a tendency to use it against you. So you don't want that judgment anymore. So you're keeping to yourself. But you know there's things that you're going to get accomplished and dealt with because it needs to happen now so that you can get moving in the right direction for yourself. All right, I'm going to pick and shuffle you the Angel Oracle cards. But yeah, you you definitely have something you have to deal with this week, and you realize it. And you're going to take the first step to figuring out the right path for this for yourself. So that's very good. What do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. So think positive, Capricorn, and take that step. All right, on that note, I will say goodbye for now and I will talk to you again next week. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.